Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to understand how to create Facebook page posts from Telegram messages. So are you also using Facebook page to promote your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So over here our objective is that as soon as we receive a new message in our Telegram account, automatically with the help of same message, a new Facebook post should be created. To do this, we are going to create a connection between these applications. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So if you also wish to learn how to do this, then follow me through the screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to learn how to create Facebook page posts from Telegram messages. So to do this, I've already opened the landing page of Pabli simply by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we are going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you're going to get hundreds of tasks free every month. But I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in right over here. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm going to click on access now right over here. And now it is opening my dashboard. And to start with the automation, we are going to click on this button right over here which says create workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder which says automations and I want to name my workflow as how to create Facebook page post from telegram messages and then we are going to click on this button right over here which says create. And now it is opening the most important window of our automation that is our workflow window. This is the most important window because we have triggered an action in this. Trigger means when this happens an action means do this. By this you can understand that the triggers the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So now we are going to select our trigger application which is telegram because I want that as soon as a new telegram message is received automatically my workflow should be triggered. So I'm going to search for telegram bot and then we are going to select it and now for the trigger event we are going to select it as set webhook slash watch updates and now we are going to click on connect and as you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your telegram bot with your Pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the token so to get this token we are going to open our telegram account and over here you can see that this is my telegram account and this is the telegram group which is new technology updates so i want that as soon as a new message is received in this group automatically my workflow should be triggered so to do this first we are going to search for bot father right over here and over here you can see bot father so we are going to open it and then we are going to click on start and now it is giving me this message so i'm going to enter it as slash new bot because we want to create a new bot so i'm going to enter it and then we are going to send this message and now it is saying all right a new bot how are we calling it please choose the name of your bot so i want the bot name to be new page post and now after entering it i'm going to send this and now it is saying good. So now let's choose a username for your bot. It must end in bot. So I'm going to enter the username as new page post PC bot. So I'm going to enter it. So over here you can see that this is the desired bot name. So I'm going to enter it and then we are going to enter underscore bot at the end because we want to create this username. It is really important to enter underscore bot. And now we are going to send this. And yes, you can see that our bot has been created and over here is the token we wished for. So I'm going to copy this token and then we are going to paste this token in our workflow and then we are going to click on save and yes you can see that we have successfully connected our telegram bot account with our Pabli's workflow and now before clicking on save and send test request i'll first add the bot in this group and now you can see that i've added the bot which we created just now which is new page post and i've also given my bot the admin access it is really important to give the bot the admin access you can give it by the help of telegram mobile application and now after doing all this we are going to send a message in our telegram channel so i'm going to paste the message i want to send and and yes, you can see that this is my message and I'm going to add a photo too. So I'm going to open photo or video and over here I'm going to add this image too. So I'm going to enter it. But before clicking on send, first we are going back to our workflow and we are going to click on save and send test request. And now you can see that it is saying waiting for a response. And over here in the notes it is saying do a test submission slash record. So to do this test submission we have already created this message and the image. So now I'm going to click on send and we are going to send this image. 
And yes, you can see that we have successfully sent this image. And now we are going to open our workflow and check that if Fably has captured the response of this image or not. And yes, you can see that Fably has captured the details of the caption and the image. Over here, you can see the caption that we entered. Over here, we are going to move on forward. You can see the file ID. So we are going to use this file ID in order to send this photo in our Facebook account. So now our trigger step is successful and we are moving on to our action step. For the action application, again, we are going to select it as Telegram bot. So I'm going to enter it and then we are going to select it. And now for the action event, we are going to select it as get a file. So over here you can see get file. So I'm going to select it and then we are going to click on connect. And again, it is asking me for the same. So as you know that I've already created a connection between my Telegram bot account and my Pabli's workflow. So directly I'm going to click on save. And now it is asking me for the file ID. So basically we have added this action step because I want to get the URL which I'll be posting in my Facebook page. So to get that URL, we are going to enter the file ID over here, but we are going to map the file ID. Mapping is a method by Pabli, which means inserting the data from the previous step. And as you know, our previous step was the trigger step where we selected Telegram bot as our trigger application. So we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only. And as soon as we are going to map these details, automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received. So that's why we do mapping right over here to make our workflow ready to run in real time. So I'm going to open the previous response and then we are going to search for file ID. And over here you can see my file ID, so I'm going to map it. And now after mapping my file ID, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And yes, you can see that it has given me a positive response that we have successfully received the file path. So we've needed this to create the URL. So over here, you can see in the help desk, it is saying the file ID can be downloaded via link this. So I'm going to copy this link first. So now what we have to do in the example, you can see we have to paste the same link. Then we have to add the access token we generated for a bot. And then we have to map this, which is the file path. So to do this first, I'm going to add another action step, which is Facebook because I want to add this image in my Facebook page. So I'm going to search for Facebook right over here. And as you can see, Facebook pages. So I'm going to select it. And now for the action event, we are going to select it as create a page photo post. And then we are going to click on connect. And as you can see, again, it is asking me for the same. So if you have already connected your Facebook page account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to again follow me, click on add a new connection and then connect with Facebook pages. And now it is asking me to select the page. So I'm going to select it and click on continue. And yes, you can see that we have successfully connected our Facebook page with our Pabli's workflow. And now it is asking me to select the page. So the name of my page is Innova Tech. So I'm going to select the same right over here. So I'm going to search for it and then we are going to select it. And now it is asking me for the photo URL. So to do this, first we are going back to our last action step. And from here, we are going to copy this URL till bot. So I'm going to copy this and then we are going to paste it in our Facebook pages right over here. And now after pasting this again, we are going back to our Telegram. And from here, we are going to open our bot further. And over here, you can see the access token. So I'm going to copy this and then we are going to paste this over here too. And now after pasting this, we are going to put a slash and then we are going to map the file path. So I'm going to open this Telegram bot get file and over here you can see my file path so I'm going to map this and now after doing all of this it is asking me for the description so I'm going to map the caption right over here which we received in our telegram message response so I'm going to search for it and over here you can see it so I'm going to map it and now after doing all of this I'm going to click on save and send test request and yes, you can see that we have received the positive response that we have created a new page post. So I'm going to open my Facebook and check that if a new page post has been created or not. And yes, you can see a new page post has been created. This is the same image that we entered over here. You can see the same caption that we entered. So with this, our workflow is successful and I'll just test the workflow once and this time I'm going to give you a real time example. So to do this, I'm going to open my Telegram web and over here you can see the same group I get the updates in. So over here I'm going to add another update which is related to my business which is Innova Tech. So I'm going to add another update right over here and as you can see that this is the new update and again I'm going to add a photo right over here which is this machine learning. So I'm going to add this and now we are going to click on send. So as soon as we are going to click on send, it will automatically send the response to our workflow. Pabli will capture the response and trigger the workflow and further we'll add a new page post in our Facebook account. So first I'm going to click on send. 
and yes you can see that we have successfully sent this and now we are going to open our facebook and check that if pabli has added a new post in our facebook page or not so this time we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on save and send as request we are directly going to open our facebook account and then we are going to refresh this page we are going to scroll and yes you can see a new post has been automatically published which is the same image that we entered and the same message that we entered so with this my workflow is successful and i'll just summarize the workflow for you once for a trigger application i selected telegram bot for the trigger event i selected set webhook slash watch updates for the action application again we selected telegram bot and then for the action event we selected get a file again for the action application we selected facebook pages and then for the action event we selected create page photo post because i wanted that as soon as a new update is received in my telegram group which is this where i receive all the new technology updates automatically a post should be posted on my facebook page also so that my audience should also get notified about the latest update so for this we created this automation and yes we were successful with our automation over here you can see the two messages that i posted with the image and over here you can see the two posts that were automatically posted with the help of our workflow so if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone the workflow and share the workflow link in the description box thank you for watching Not only these applications but with the help of Pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support@pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching